Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this session, we will uh, discuss exercise 4.5 from additional mathematics course for IGCSE and O-level students. Uh, uh, in this uh, session, we will uh, do the same similar kind of uh, problems as we discussed earlier for from the uh, factor theorem. And in this polynomials, uh, we will see some reminders. The remainders uh, initially problem in the uh, exercise 4.4 we have seen that the remainders was 0. So the, the uh, x minus 1 was considered as a factor but here in this case uh, this x minus 1 is not a factor but if we divide this polynomial by x minus 1 we will have some remainders. So we will solve this by dividing or by substituting values and have some reminders. So similarly for question number 2 and 3. So let's start uh, problem 1. Uh, this is exercise 4.5 problem number 1. We have this polynomial and we have to divide it by x minus 1. So we are dividing it with this one and uh, x cubed to x square minus x plus 3 and by dividing we have this x cube so x cube so x square multiply so x cube is obtained and then x square and subtract and we have obtained this and then place this minus x here and by 3x square so place 3x to multiply this 3x square and then 3x minus 3x and change sign to obtain this plus 2x plus 3 and then this 3 is here and then 2 to multiply this plus and this is minus x and this so we change and we obtain plus 5 so the remainder is remainder is plus 5 remainder uh, is uh, plus 5 for this case similarly for this uh, for case number 2 we divide it and we have remainder minus 1 and for problem number 3 we have remainder 76 uh, we can also solve this by placing minus 2 so this minus 2 is a factor so x plus 2 is one of the factors so x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 by placing x is equal to minus 2 in this polynomial we can obtain that same remainder so this is we can do it for the other problem as well we can do the same for this problem by placing x is equal to 2 in this equation we will have some same remainder so so question number Two uh, D can be solved by both method by dividing we have obtained this and by placing polynomial x two x plus two uh, x minus one is equal to zero x is equal to half so by placing x is equal to half in this and we have obtained the same remainder so the remainder is same so this is one of both techniques have been used by divisions or by substitution by theorem factor theorem so by factor theorem the same remainders. Uh, similarly for the question number 2 we have uh, x cube plus x square plus ax minus 2 divided by x minus 1 remainder is 5 so, so x is, uh, minus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 by placing x is equal to 1 in this uh, polynomial function so this is 1 x cube 1 x square a x 1 a minus 2 so by solving so we have a is equal to 5 because this remainder is 5 if we solve this function, the remainder will be 5. So by placing a is equal to 5. So this is solved. Similarly, for this, by placing x minus 2, so my placing minus 2 remainder is 3. So the remainder is 3, the b can be obtained. 57. Similarly, for c by placing uh, x is equal to half by placing half, 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 and remainder is minus 4, so minus 4, and we solve c and obtain. 11. Similarly, for this question number 3, and now let's solve question number 4, where we have fx is equal to x cubed plus ax square plus 11x plus b, and x minus 1 is a factor. So, if x minus 1 is a factor, the remainder will be 0 when x is equal to 2. So, in, by placing x is equal to 2, the remainder will be 0. So, x2, the remainder is 0. So, we have obtained one equation and that is 4a plus b is equal to minus 30 and for the second case when, I, when divide by x minus 5 the remainder is 24 so by placing x in place of x 5 
we will have remainder 24 remainder 24 this so f5 and remainder is 24 not 0 as in the previous case no it is this time it is 24 so by placing it 5 and we have another equation so this one is one equation 4a plus b minus 30 and 25a plus b is equal to minus 156 and we have to solve this equation 1 and 2 to obtain a and b by solving it simultaneously we have obtained a is equal to minus 6 and by substituting a value to obtain b is equal to minus 6 so a is equal to 6 b is equal to minus 6 so this is the solution similarly for this part b is same similar way Let's fx is equal to 4x cube plus 8x square plus ax plus b. Uh, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 uh, when divide by x minus 2 remainder is this. So, this is the factor. So, this is one of the factor of this equation. So, we will place x is equal to 1 upon 2 and have remainder 0. So, we will have one equation by this way. So, this is first equation by placing. Uh, remainder uh, is 48 we divide x minus 2 remainder is 48 so 48 x equal to minus so, so x is equal to 2 by placing x is equal to 2 remainder is 48 so we have another equation by placing this and by simplification we have obtained 2a plus b is equal to minus 16 so we solve this simultaneously to obtain a and b b and a so this is uh, part this now uh, in part uh, a and b remainder when divide by x minus 1 so we have to obtain the remainder when divide by x minus 1 so by placing value of a and b here we have a polynomial a and b is obtained uh, minus 2 and minus 9, minus 9 and minus 2 so minus 9 and minus 2 placed and we have obtained this uh, this polynomial and by placing substitution we have obtained it that's why so this is easy and uh, uh, let's solve this question number 8 we have fx is uh, this ax cube plus bx square plus 5x minus 2 and when we divide this by x minus 1 then we have obtained remainder 6 and when divide by 2x plus 1 we get remainder minus 6 so we have to find the value of a and b so by placing 1 uh, we have minus 6 and by substitution one equation is obtained similarly for this half x is equal to minus half and by placing x equal to minus half in this polynomial we have a remainder minus 6 so we have another equation and this is second equation so equation number 1 and equation number 2 we can solve it simultaneously to obtain value of a and b a and this, this is the answer similarly for now let's solve question number 10 where we have fx is this a, a b and c fx is equal to 0 uh, through 2 3 and 4 so divide fx divide by x minus 1 remainder is minus 8 value of k so we have to find the value of k so let's read this uh, uh, problem first from Problem number nine. Uh, we have v f x is equal to x cube minus five x square plus a x plus b, and f x has a factor of x minus two. So uh, this polynomial f x has a factor x minus two. So when uh, place x is equal to two in this equation, the remainder will be zero. Uh, now express b in terms of a. So 
So we have to express B in terms of A. This is the first part. And the second part, when Fx is divided by X plus 1, the remainder is minus 9. Find the value of A and B. So we have to solve this equation. Uh, 9 and then 10. So, so we already covered it. Now chapter, uh, problem number 10. We have fx is equal to x cube plus ax square plus b plus c and the roots of fx is equal to uh, 0 are 2, 3 and k. When fx is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is minus 8. Find the value of k. Find the remainder when the fx is divided by x plus 1. So we have obtained this. So let's start. Problem number ten. Here we have x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c, and uh, this polynomial has a value zero. Mean zero remainder when we have two, three, and k. So by placing k, remainder will be zero. So placing two, we have zero. So one equation is obtained, and similarly for placing 3, the second equation is obtained by placing uh, C, third equation is obtained and finally this three equation and we will solve it simultaneously, it's very difficult and we have obtained some values A, B and C, this was not very easy, it cannot be asked in exams and similarly for this one, okay, it's obtained as this. So this was the most difficult one. So because uh, here we have a 3 by 3 matrix. So we have to solve or reduce it to 2 by 2 so we can solve it. So this is a tough one. Cannot be asking final exams. Let's start uh, problem number 11. Fx uh, is equal to 4x cubed plus ax square plus 13x plus b fx has a factor 2x minus 1 and fx is divided by x minus 1 the remainder is 21 and uh, when x is equal to half the remainder is 0 and when x is equal to 2 the remainder is 21 find a and b and when fx is divided by x plus 1 the remainder we have to find the remainder so placing x uh, is equal to half uh, so if the remainder is 0, we will place it here and we have obtained uh, this uh, equation number this. And now equation in placing uh, x is equal to 2, we have obtained this equation. By placing 2, this polynomial we have obtained this. So equation number 1 and equation number 2. And now we have to solve it simultaneously and we have obtained b and a as this. So this is simple, this is uh, easy, we can solve it and A and B are obtained. Now part B, uh, when fx is divided by x plus 1 the remainder is obtained. So A and B have been op already obtained in the part B, so we will place the value of A and B here and then we solve this point. So in the part B, we have obtained, we have placed all the values of A and B. This is B and this is minus 8 is A here. And now we place X uh, plus 1. So X plus 1 is equal to 0 means X is equal to minus 1. And the remainder is this. So this is solution. And now let's go back to see the uh, question number 12. Uh, this fx uh, this uh, cube minus 8x square plus kx minus 20 when divided by x minus 1 the remainder is r when fx is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is 4r 
find the value of k. So we have to find the value of k when we divide this x minus 1, we get the remainder r. And when divide by x minus 2, the remainder is 4r. Find the value of k, this k. Okay, so this is question number 12. So, is given as this x cube plus 2x square plus kx minus 20 when divide by x minus 1 the remainder is r when divide by x minus 2 the remainder is 4r find the value of this k so when placing this 1 when placing x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1 so when placing x is equal to 1 the remainder is r capital r so this place 1 remainder is r so we have this equation and similarly for the second one, when x is equal to 2, the remainder is 4r. So replacing uh, 2 and we have remainder 4r. So we have this second equation. This k and r, this k and r, we have solved this simultaneously and we can obtain value of r, k and r. This r and k is obtained. So this was simple, this was very important and we will ask in final examination. This question number 12 is very very important. Let's solve question number uh, 14. Uh, we have this fx is equal to x cube plus 6x square plus kx minus 15. When fx is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is r. And when fx is divided by x plus 4, the remainder is minus r. Find the value of k and the remainder when fx is divided by x plus 2. So let's start with this first one x minus 1 so x minus 1 means x is equal to 1 so when place x is equal to 1 we get the polynomial this so this is the first equation and when uh, place x is equal to minus 4 then this polynomial becomes this 17 minus k 4k is equal to minus r so this is two equation and two unknowns so we have to solve it simultaneously this equation this and we have obtained r is equal to minus 5 and k is equal to 3. So this was the requirement in part b. In the part b, when divide by x plus 2, so we'll place the value of k here and then divide by this. So with place the value of k, k is obtained as uh, 3. So we will place first 3 here and then play, solve it by x plus 2. So x is equal to minus 2. So this is 3 is here in place of k and now we place this minus 2 and we will get the remainder. This is simple and next time we will cover exercise.